So welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and today we're taking a quick look at Ryzen CPU core scaling in Far Cry 5. Real quick to get it out of the way, what we are using today is my workstation, still being the Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.9 gigahertz with 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 megahertz on the Crosshair Hero 6. Now, as far as GPU wise, we are using the EVGA GTX 980 Ti Superclocked edition. So this is overclocked, aftermarket, cooled variant of the 980 Ti. So with that out of the way, what we did was we ran the benchmark, the built-in benchmark at 1080p high preset, not ultra, not 1440p. We wanted to leave a little bit of a strain on the CPU to see if it makes a big difference, whether, well, depending on which version of Ryzen you're running when it comes to this game. And the 980 Ti is still relatively high end in the spectrum. It's no 1080 and it's no 1080 Ti, but still a pretty decent card to do this particular comparison with. Now, one last thing I wanna do before we jump into the comparison is rather than swapping out all of the parts, I have a 1600X and a 1500X on hand, just no 1300, no Ryzen 3 parts. But what we did was utilizing core control and SMT control in the UEFI, we disabled cores down according to represent that version. So we ran eight core, 16 thread, eight core, eight thread, where we did well, four, uh, four plus four configuration, a 16 or a six core configuration where it's three plus three with SMT on and off, and then the quad core, which was two plus two with SMT on and off to give those numbers. So we wanted to test all variants of what Ryzen would be running like. So we've got to remember the core clock is going to stay the same on all of these and well, the cache will be whatever is enabled or disabled. So something to keep in mind, but what we're looking at here is do the cores really matter to what extent and is there a drop off at a certain point? So let's take a first look at Ryzen and its typical configurations. So looking here at its typical configurations, you can see that while there is a benefit of having the eight core 16 thread part over the six core and the quad cores, it's really not a huge, huge difference. In fact, the um, quad core, the four core, four thread part performed surprisingly well in the 1% and 0.1% lows, even when compared to the four core, eight thread variant. But what I wanted to take a look at that was most curious with this particular comparison is the six and eight core parts when you disable hyper-threading or when you disable simultaneous multi-threading. It has a massive detriment to the performance on the 0.1% lows. It benefits on the 1%, but the 0.1s do take quite the tank. And it's really odd because this is a game that AMD has their branding all over it, Ryzen as well as Radeon right up front. Something that's really interesting to take into consideration here is on all of these standard Ryzen configurations, it runs great but in a non-standard configuration, which is the six core, six thread, and the eight core, eight thread, it almost like the game doesn't know what to do at that point. For the most part, it runs perfectly fine, and the 0.1% lows aren't gonna be enough to really hurt you, but clearly, you're not gonna wanna disable them. And I think we've moved way past the argument where people are still trying to disable SMT for extra performance. So looks like uh, really if you're on Ryzen, it doesn't really matter which one you're on because they all do really well. So not a whole lot else to say in this video. If you found this to be odd, try it for yourself and let us know what you have back, what, what you get back in your results. Of course, we utilize fraps to capture every frame throughout the test and not just the end game benchmark results. So that's something to keep in mind. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, you found it interesting, or at least because there's not a whole lot of, um, well, they didn't learn a whole lot from it, but we did do it and wanted to bring you the results. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.